As you may have noticed, recently I've been on a bit of a key bindings kick with animating some bodywork which should have probably been animated already. It started originally with doing a convertible roof, then it went on to making adjustable seats so then you can have your fully electric vehicle interior setup. But one thing I realized is that I could combine the two and instead do all windows and a sunroof. Because windows on their own, not really enough, but doing a convertible, uh, sorry, not a convertible, a sunroof, well, that, that's a little bit of fun. And unfortunately, this one doesn't have a sunroof, otherwise I would have done it to this one. And I'm also going to attempt to do something else that I've never attempted before. And that's to not have like a long list of all the buttons, but instead try to make these windows work by clicking on these. Now, I may not be able to do this, we shall see, but... We're going to start with trying to do the sunroof. If you're wondering why I'm going to so much effort just to make it buttons as opposed to key presses, well, that's because the last time I did this, I realized that the moment they would have brought the vehicle in, it would have given away what the mod was and wanted to leave this to be a little bit sneaky. So when they see it later on, I'll be like, ha can you figure out what I've done? The theory is, is that we're not going to be using coplers, but instead being using the triggers and trigger events to be able to start creating things as opposed to having to use key inputs. Sure, I don't know if that's going to work, but I would love to give it a try. We're going to start by trying to take the sunroof variant. So we'll take that. Uh, that doesn't look like we need it. This will keep. This will keep. And that looks to be some sort of roof cover thing, so that will keep everything else we can delete. And they're already separate parts, so that actually makes my life a whole lot easier. That means that it has the same body, the only thing that we need to replace is just the roof itself. So we got the roof panel. Oh, fantastic! This is unusual, because usually the body is only... The, uh, so is the only part in here, but they've got a lot of different things in here. So we've got roof plane, roof sun, the rest of this can go, and we're just going to keep roof sun for now. And in here, we're going to have to do a bunch of different things, like probably make more nodes, because I don't think three is enough here. We're going to need to leave the roof nodes, but create extra nodes for not just the rails, but also for the sunroof itself. And to make sure that this doesn't get too heavy, we're going to have to make them super light and try to keep them in, in, as minimal as possible. Let me do words speak. I God, that's so bad. We're going to have to also keep in mind the fact that usually sunroofs will pop down a little bit, then slide back into the roof cavity. Hmm, that's going to make our lives just a little bit tricky. Because that means that we're also not going to have to have just two nodes for it to slide back, but also extra nodes as well. And this concept brings me back to this vehicle again, where you can see it pops out a little bit, then it slides backwards. So we're going to have to basically use this sort of thing. Let me bring up the nodes and triangles and you'll see that I believe it's this one here will slide along and yeah, it'll follow that one. I think I may have finally figured this out, mostly by looking at the code. And there's actually three rails to be had here and then a bunch of couplers for the one action. So if we have a, a look here, there's one at the bottom, which you'll be able to see, one at the top, which comes along to here and then across to here. Then there's one at the back here, which is attached to that pivoting part that we had a look at. And you'll see that the thing uh, pivots in. We go and properly debug this to be invisible. Then press this here. You'll be able to see that this one at least comes in and then swings it in closed. And this is a coupler here, and that'll push it away and pull it close when it goes to couple and decouple. Now, I'm not going to be doing quite so complicated. I think I'm going to go much simpler. Instead, I'm just going to create two very simple rails, uh, one which goes down and backwards, and then there'll be an extra little node which will join in there, and then that'll also go backwards. Or, hmm, actually, if I think about this whilst making it, I might be able to get away with just three nodes, but 
It's very unclear if this is going to work. But anyway, uh, there is going to have to be basically two rails on either side. And we're going to try to keep that as light as possible. And what is the lightest thing? Well, that would be carbon fiber. So let's use that as a reference. And that requires the scintilla. Though 1.7 kilos, you know, that's pretty heavy. I was kind of hoping to have it a little bit lighter than that. Oh, the trunk for the Miramar is 0.76, but the hood for the scintilla takes the cake at 0.4 kilos. And that brings us back to this, the roof nodes. Let's bring the body back up and see if RF2R already exists. And it seems so. So we got the main sunburst body there, all your extra things you require for that. Uh, lots of extra things. But if we come down to here, we can see that the roof nodes already exist and all of the new roof does is alter the position. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete all of those. We only need one of this, this is going to be uh, RN for roof node left one. And we're going to need for the left side, five each side. We're gonna start by creating a new mesh plane. Then this is gonna start becoming our thing. Now this is how the slide nodes are going to work. They're gonna pop down a little bit, then they're gonna go up and follow the curvature, just a smidgen. Then in here, this is also gonna be another slide one. So this will slide here and this will slide here. We're then gonna export as a J beam plane. It has been successfully exported. We now have the node positions, which is the big important thing. We're gonna grab these and plop them in here, except we're gonna change the names up a little bit. So left will start on the left side and we're also gonna rearrange these a bit so then they're not willy nilly around. Then from the scintilla hood, we're going to grab all of the beam spring and deem form stuff. And we're gonna plop that in our vacant area. Now, these are all the sunburst body, which is absolutely fine. That is where the roof goes, except the sunroof itself is going to have to change. Wait, hold on. Oh, sunburst glass is its own thing. Oh, interesting. It apparently it turns up in glass for the whole vehicle is just one thing. Ah, and it does very little. It, it once again does those roof nodes we were talking about earlier and adds in some flex body stuff. So let's grab the flex body stuff because we will be needing that. Plop that into our flex body section, except we're going to be changing the groups that they're a part of. And that goes sunburst body to sun roof and we're going to create more nodes now we're, this one is going to be called glass then we're going to copy basically this node this node this node and this node and duplicating them but i don't know which ones they are so we're going to have a look in node beam editor to make our lives just a little bit easier and we're also going to change the group of this so these are going to be specifically the roof nodes sorry no uh the well you hold you know what yeah the sunroof nodes my next problem is is none of this connects to the body so we'll have to figure that out as well so let's start by trying to connect the ones to body nodes grab a roof node one plop you in there except this is gonna connect to things like rf1r and well, now we're just gonna do that a hundred different times and done now if we go to our roof and change this to electric sunroof that should just immediately oh uh that's not exactly what i was expecting rn4l is loose oh sorry that's rnl4 rnl4 is attached to a bunch of different nodes i don't know why it's having an issue let's slow this way down refresh the car and see which nodes are falling Basically all of them. Only RN1L is staying in the same place. Ah, uh, yep, okay, I stuffed up. <laughs> I didn't put the right nomenclature in. But at least now if we hit Control R, it should mostly hold in place, perfect. Now we're just gonna do the same for the RNL3s. And with that, it now should hold its place a little bit better. Okay, it's a little bit jiggly. And that's because all of them are using no uh, spring and dance, which should hold itself together, but not for the body itself. So on the scintilla hood, we should have 
a surface cross, no air ducting, crossing, rigid, rigidifiers, lengthwise, attachment nodes. Here we go. These are the ones we'll grab. And with that, there's a possibility that this will be a little bit better. No, nah, okay, it's not happy. And then this is also like just completely loose as well. <laughs> it's literally sitting on top. Yeah, that's a, that's a very floppy roof. Kind of hoping that it wouldn't be quite so floppy. Maybe I'll have to connect it to like some chassis nodes, maybe? If we bring up some beams, where are some good beam connectors? RF5R? Sweet. Or just RF5, I should say. Duplicate. RF5. And then do that to all of them. RF5. There's a possibility that this will work. It's helped us at least a little bit. <laughs> but the sunroof nodes, they're not attached to anything. They're not actually going to get attached to anything. They're going to be instead put on a slide node, which at the moment is jiggling way too much. Oh, okay. Hold on. I've got it now, like, not jiggling at all. What I did is made the structure itself a lot softer. Nice. So now our, like, sliding roof nodes just need to be attached to said uh, slidey nodey thingies. In the moment, it just kind of flops. Now we're going to go back to that Lansdale and we're going to grab not the couplers or anything like that, but instead... <sighs> rails. But we're going to change this to roof L1. Then this is going to be roof L2. Just to make it a little bit easier. Then this is R1 and roof R2. These are going to have to change though, as it's going to go R and R0 to 1, then to 3, because that's the lower one. And then we're going to copy you, paste you there, and this is going to go to uh, 4. Then this is going to be the second left node. And you know what, actually, just to make my life a little bit easier, we're going to duplicate these instead and then simply change everything to R. Then the slide nodes themselves, we only need two slide... No, wait, hold on. We are gonna need four, aren't we? We'll do the left side to start with. So the ID is the name of the node. Let's go with the zero here and the rail at zero is gonna go on. It's the first one. So that'll go there. Then the second left side will go here and connect to the second left node. And easily enough, we duplicate this and hey presto! Now if we hit control R and hopefully- OH MY GOD! That's an unhappy boy. That's a very unhappy boy. Epileptic warning, uh, editor, put that in before this happens. Like, Jesus. I think the problem is, is our, like, beam strength is way too high, so we'll grab probably these values for spring and oh hey presto now if we grab the right node which be a little bit tricky eh, they're, they're overlapped which is unfortunate and we can't really disconnect them either hmm if only there was a you know what let's put a node in the middle that way i'll have something to connect to so duplicate you sunroof Zero. Now we have our extra node, and if we try to drag you back, wait, what? Why aren't you working? Go on your slidey nodes. Why would you go? What the hell? I can see that the nodes are overlapped on each other because the letters are looking funky, which is a sign of that. They should start by sliding downwards. Huh. Why doesn't it slide? It should have, like, initially just slide down. Oh, you know what? It's got collisions on. Let's go paste those in, but change these to false. Then with the refresh and an unpause, oh, it immediately slides down and then pushes back a little bit because it's got a bit of an angle to it. Now it won't come all the way back up because, oh, there's a lot of beams in here. Uh, it needs to go upwards. So it's not gonna be too happy about that. What I need to do now though, is add a hydraulics in. This is gonna start getting a little bit tricky because I don't want to use buttons for this. I want to instead use those triggery things like doors have. Let's start by grabbing triggers, events links, and events. But let's also grab hydros. We just basically got to follow 
the attachment. So the door RR comes from the triggers, which is fine. Then they get touched nowhere else in this section. But then it has the latch section, which we're going to not use that, but instead we're going to do an input action tilt up and down. Which should work for us. So we're going to go from triggers to trigger events, then into this, which will be put into here. We luckily only need two as well, because we're only doing the sunroof for now. I suppose I could have a look at the debug screen whilst we relaunch. And fatal lure error. Perfect. Mov F input and nil value. Fantastic. Oh, okay. One goes to here and one goes to here. Okay. Then that means I need two more of these, except they're going to be this one and this one. Let's try refreshing and oh, actually, there seems to be no errors. I wonder if our triggers are in here. Oh my God, that trigger is goddamn huge. What the hell? Anyway, uh, if I click on it, nothing seems to happen. Bugger. Oh wait, I was paused. Oh, it immediately crashes. Instability detected in vehicle, sunburst and valid value. Yeah. Okay, so if I try to unpause, it just crashes out. So I've gotten the roof to a pretty much like right, I'm, I'm right there. I just don't know how to connect the two. I've got even like little switches here. I might even make a little bit of a panel here. Maybe I'm not sure, but the moment they do not do anything, but when I click on it, it brings up these errors. Like it won't move because it can't find the controller returning nil controller. Now I've gone into Lua for custom inputs, but I've never done a Lua for controllers. Now I had a misspelling. That's how I knew that what it was asking for was here. I wonder if upon up, I can change a controller to an input maybe. If we have a look at the electric seats, it has a custom in wait hold on is that the right one moving back events yes and events it goes on ah okay so that is where we've gone wrong let's grab you and instead of a controller i'm gonna put you in and just change around a few things like this one goes there then we're gonna copy you again or this time we're gonna cut you and we're going to put you in there then we'll also put you in here now if we refresh is that going to chuck any errors is hopefully using an input as opposed to a controller is going to help us with our situation doesn't look like there's any errors that i'm having this is a force feedback thing which i don't really understand why it's chucking an error and then why the error is blue but maybe it's like some sort of optional thing where it says it's an error but not really a bad one so let's click this <gasps> Oh my god, it's working already. Okay, well that's not doing it right. But holy cow! I, I was so close to having a look into how controllers work. You want to know how close I was? I was looking at the active diff controller that's in here for the normal base sunburst. But it, it doesn't have all the information I need. This is really only for differential control. There's nothing really I can harvest here because I didn't know. So now all I've got to do is find out why they didn't attach to the rail? Hmm, it looks like we've pushed so hard that we've moved the rails. Oh dear. So time to go to our hydros. The in limit is going to be 0.1 and the out limit is going to be exactly one. So we can't go out at all. A quick little refresh and then hopefully it will only pull inwards. Now, I know this is kind of clipping a little bit, but we'll figure that out later for now. We just move this back. No, move it back. Ah, oh, that's a pity. Uh, let's change this to a zero and see what happens. Press the button and hey, look at that. It slides backwards, but wait, what? Oh, what? The hydros are in sync. Oh, I know what I've done wrong here. Let's copy you and put you there, then duplicate these, then move you to rear. So then that way Mov F will move both of these and Mov R will move both of these. Okay. Now, if we hit the back. <sighs> yes. Okay, well, it doesn't. Oh, what the? What? 
This one just moves it faster? Uh, let's go input factor minus one. Though I don't know why one would go faster than the other. That's weird. Okay. This one does still move us very slowly. And... Oh, okay, that's as far as that goes. The other one moves it back, like, really fast. Oh. Oh, I see it now. So this is moving super fast. If I'm going move forwards, that should be a minus 0 0.5, and this one should be 0.5. So now after a refresh, this one will move it backwards and then it'll go until it runs out of move and then, damn it, what the hell? Oh, did it? It toggled there for a second, that's weird. But yeah, that goes all the way back, but then the other one doesn't? Huh? So I've had to restart a few times to get this to be where it is right now. It does sit out a little bit too much, but I've encountered a bit of an odd one and it's kind of boggling my mind and I, don't understand why it's happening. Let's say for instance, I hold back. It will now go back, uh, but only halfway. Sure, okay, if I hold forward now, it will go forward. Perfect. Now if I hold back again, nothing. If I hold forwards, nothing. If I hold back and only go, oh, no. Oh. If the triggers disappear from like having too much of a stationary thing, it'll go into like auto hold back mode. Kind of like what you would find in a real thing, but here it's a little bit annoying. So if we hold back, then hold forward, and we're only gonna go a quarter, hold back again, then go forward again, and now, now, now we're going any further back. Now what if I hold forward all the way? It's, it's as if it has an amount of move back. Moments later. Don't ask me how, but I have done it by just blundering my way through, changing values randomly, not knowing what's really happening, I have got it working, finally. Only the really confusing thing is, is I changed this to an R and uh, from an R to an F, and that seemed to fix most of the issues. The next one was uh, this would only go like halfway still. And then I went to like randomly changing values here, and this is what I've sat on, and it doesn't make sense to me, but it seems to work now. So, whilst in your vehicle, and let's say you're, you're fresh in, you can hold back and it goes all pretty much all the way back and then all the way forwards. And then sometimes it doesn't recognize your inputs, but there you go. We have a working sunroof and it is actually a working sunroof. And I have just got it a little bit lower than the ceiling line. So then that way you can actually see it go. And yeah, sometimes it won't recognize your inputs for a little while. You have to just hold a little bit, but uh, it gets there eventually. So it's usually on holding it backwards and don't, don't, don't ask me why. I don't actually know why sometimes. It'll just sit there and it'll take a little while. It's a weird one, but now I think I kind of want to put this on a slide rail as well, but I suppose I could make it mechanical, but if only I could have a friction on it, but I don't think I can have friction. So I think I'm going to leave that. Actually, you know what? Where are slide nodes? Is there a friction? We got... Fixed to rail, tolerance, spring strength, cap strength. Damn it. it. Doesn't look like there's a friction that's able to be applied to slide node. Because then you'd be able to like grab and slide it and it would just work. I suppose I could just have like a really high deform value, uh, like, sorry, low deform value on it. I think that could work. The only problem is, is this little lip thing isn't actually very deep. So I would have to... I mean, it's not the worst thing. I'll just grab this and then move it back. So now, when I move it forwards, yeah, it'll be close. Do I go to all this effort though? That is another forward nodes, which adds that little bit extra weight. I think I will. If we have a look in here, it does just end. So let's control R this and then good. It does go the entire leg. Now we gotta apply it to its own slide nodes. And for that, I think we're gonna copy this node, this node, this node, and this node. So ones and threes, basically. Then instead of a roof node, it'll be like a shade node. Then the rails we're gonna create, well, let's just duplicate this. I'm gonna then put a bit of a space in there so I know what I'm working with. Duplicate it, then make everything L. And now that this is all good make sure that the group for the sun cover reel is set correctly and then we refresh and oh okay 
we're pretty darn close. All we're gonna do now is just... <laughs> Because uh, all of the nodes have clumped up one end because there's nothing holding the nodes apart. They just slid all together. Let's go into the beam section. And now at the very least, it'll hold its shape. It'll it'll want to move, but it'll, it'll hold its shape. Oh, okay, well, oh, you know what's happening here? The nodes are right up here, but yet the flex body is back that way. Okay, how do we do this? GY... Uh, yeah, that's no good. Select just you, make that active element, go to the side view, then rotate. Hopefully that's good. And by default, is it, in, it is in place now. If we move it back, sweet. And it's not 100% perfect as you can see. When it rolls back, it doesn't really go into the roof section. So that's a bit of an issue. We're going to create a very special connection here. So this is going to be shade hold, shade friction stuff. We're then going to connect it to R N L four. So then the front node is connected to that one. The beam spring is going to be really loose. Damp is going to be very high. In fact, I can even bring that down to five. Then the deform is going to be brought down as well, and strength could stay quite high. Will that jumbled mess make a lick of sense, though? No. No, it won't. Oh, it's because I've called this wrong. It's meant to be R and L4. Okay, spring's working pretty well, but I think I need less deform, because the deform is now... Like, the, the spring is good, it's like, uh, it moves quite easily. But the deform needs to be a lot less. Hide those beams and then... Yeah, it's still very floppy. That's unfortunate. I could make like an extra node in the middle. I think that's what I'll do. Now we have a node latch. And... Things are looking pretty good. Except for the fact that it doesn't deform easy enough. But... Let's see if we just give it a quick little refresh. Then drive it around. Okay, it does move a little bit. That is unfortunate. Hmm, but at least it goes back to normal. But it won't hang there. Forever, at least. Eh. You know what? I think that is possible. This node, though. Kind of just hanging in the middle. Maybe if I move it forward and then model a little pull tab here. Not my greatest work, but if we go and uh, join that together now... We'll have the same sort of material that we have on the roof, and if we go to UV editing and have a look at everything, our new section should be easily UV unwrap. It, no. Okay. If we do a smart unwrap, that works a little bit better. Plop you in there. Said little pull tab thingy is... is that... Inverse? What the hell? Let's start by moving this even further forward. So, what's the furthest? 117. Let's go with minus one. Save. And then hopefully the node will be right on the tab, which it is pretty darn close. That is very floppy, causing a lot of issues. But you know what? It's good enough. And it kind of holds its place. If we drag it all the way back, doesn't seem to want to drag all the way back. That's unfortunate. We can then slide the roof all the way back and the roof all the way forwards. Perfect! I should probably make that an extra part so then people don't get frustrated with it because at the moment, it just like, it won't sit back there. Let's try it out. A little bit of driving around. Yeah, it's not moving too much, actually. Yeah, that's good. Now, if we drag you back, what about moving forwards and backwards? Okay, it wants to close under hard breaking, but that's not the worst thing in the world. I think, yeah, I think we'll live with that. Because I line these up to be like that, we can then go whoop, and whoop, and it does not interfere at least much with that. So we are good, done. And I've actually done this one within one day, no matter how annoying that one last issue was that took most of the day, we've got it. We are the champions. Okay, seems seems pretty normal to me. I'm just gonna bring up a timer because from now you have 30 seconds to figure out what I modded onto this vehicle. Oh my God. <laughs>
Uh, shit. Let Good me do thinking. The... Whoa! Okay, well, that's not... That's not the mod. Okay. Suspension, maybe? No, 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 the suspension either. Oh my god. The engine seems pretty normal. The uh, interior map. Oh, out of time. Okay. Oh, fuck. How about you come back and I'll show you what I did. All right, you, you having a look at my car? You having a look nice and closely? I mean, okay. yeah, I can see you. All right, right now. Did you see it? Actually, no. <laughs> okay, how about now? Wait, this, nothing is going on. Aha, uh -huh, I do have it now. Okay. Okay. Do you see it doing its thing? I, I see the two orbs, but I press and nothing happens. Oh, oh, oh. okay. It took some time. Okay. What do you think? Schnazzy, huh? It is, it is. I spent all day making that. <laughs> okay, that works. It, it's working a charm. Well, it was kind of ruined a little day. bit there by BMMP, but... Uh... Do you think it was worth a day to be able to do that? I mean, it takes me a day to come up with a... A way to record a video, so... <laughs> this seems pretty productive compared to my usual. Well, that unfortunately didn't go quite to plan. Thanks, BMMG! Or at least that's more of a BMMP issue than a BMMG issue, but then again, BMMG is also... You know, not great with knowing when mods are available. Like, just then, I had to close out of BeamMP, go into BeamNG, reactivate the mod, because for some reason it deactivated it on itself. But either way, I got to show somebody. It was fun. Cool little mod. I love getting technical into these sorts of things, and now that they're becoming a little bit easier, but still, you know, a challenge, a, kind of that sweet spot for me. Okay. Uh, it's just, it's fun to do. For now though, I would like to thank my channel members. And that specifically includes the Rogue Tick, the Crayon Peace Pri Priest for being a top tier channel member. Oh God, this is going horribly. For the rest of you though, I'll catch you all next time. Mm, goodbye. Let's make it closer. The, the seat is moving, oh my yep. God. And then, it also tilts. Oh, no way. But guess what? I also got the passenger seat working. And it also tilts. Oh, something broke? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit.